Hello, it's your boy Mr. CV. I'm back. I'm back with another special, special video. And I'm back on CV Talks. This is just a place where obviously I share my ideas and I share my thoughts and whatever it is. And also as well, is a chance for you to also learn something new. Also as well, this video is a video that I'm sure definitely a lot of you be interested in. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Don't run anywhere. And fasten your seatbelt and be ready to listen now on this video it's about 21 skills that will for that will pay you forever so what are 21 skills that i've written down that i feel they will pay you forever so listen up i'm sure one or two of you will be able to also learn from these skills as well so definitely it might be worth looking at it might be worth looking into it might be worth researching or it might be something new you want to try so Definitely stay tuned and listen. So 21 skills that will pay you forever. So number one is the ability to sell and negotiate. Now that's a very, very important skill because obviously in life, people need to buy things. People need to sell things. People need to, you need to be able to negotiate things. Obviously when you negotiate things, you can negotiate your salary. You can negotiate your pay. You can also negotiate your, um, when you're buying things as well where maybe you buy, obviously there's some shops that you can't negotiate, such as maybe if you buy things from Tesco that have fixed price. But the, the things where, for example, if you go to auction houses, these are things you can negotiate the price. There are many things that you can negotiate. So if you have that skill in your armor, it's a very, very important skill to have. And also as well, if you are a person that, if you're also a person that you don't have fixed pay, that you have to negotiate your pay, this is also very, very important. But the ability to be able to sell things is also very, very important. Is a skill itself because once you find something to sell, you can always sell it for whatever prices you want to sell it. So that's skill number one. Number two, ability to convey what you think and feel. Now, that's a very, very powerful thing as well that can pay you forever. Because when you do things such as public speaking, for example, you need to be able to convey how you think and how you feel. If you can convey how you think and how you feel to people, people will be able to take in the message that you're trying to pass. But if you can't convey how you think and how you feel to people, then people are going to think, oh, what's the point of investing in you or what's the point of listening to you? So that's a very, very important skill as well. Number three, ability to break a process down into smaller steps. Now, this is very, very important, especially if you're doing things such as teaching or you're doing things such as a job, you're, you're doing jobs that require you to speak to other people, to break things down, to, you're doing jobs that teaches others how to do things. It's important that you break things down into smaller steps. And the reason is because obviously everybody learns at a different pace. Everybody learns differently. So obviously there are times where you might need to break it down into smaller steps so that people, everybody can Everybody can relate to it. Everybody can learn from it. It's called the layman term. So in the layman form means in a simple form that everybody can understand. Number four, ability to shut up, listen and learn from others. Now, that's also very, very important too because that's also very, very important too because you're not going to know everything. You don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. So sometimes you need to be able to shut up, be quiet and listen and learn from other people as well so that you can learn from their ideas you can learn from what they've done, their successes, their bad parts, their good times, and use that as well as a leverage to be able to get better as well. Number five, ability to adapt, improvise, and ob overcome obstacles. That is a very, it might not seem like a skill, but these are very, very important skills to have. Because as you're growing as a human being, as you're developing, Obviously, you're going to face a lot of obstacles. You're going to face a lot of challenges, but you need to learn how to overcome them because when you learn how to overcome them, this makes you stronger. This makes you wiser. This makes you better as well. And it also gives you an edge over others as well because others might have not been in that position. And it also allows you to learn and grow in the sense that you can adapt and improvise. You can change things. You can analyze things. You can see that, okay, this didn't work last time. How can I make it better? How can I improve? And that's also a very, very important opportunity as well for, for people as well. That's a very, very important skill as well. Number seven, ability to walk away. Now, it's very, very important that you walk away. If something is not favoring you, it's important that you walk away. You put your hands up and you say, you know what? This ain't working for me. Walk away. 
sometimes in life we just want to stick at it, want to stick at it, want to stick at it. And it's sometimes it's not even favorableness. It's affecting your mental health. It's affecting your physical health. Most importantly as well, when it comes to walking away as well, it's important to acknowledge that because there are times where you feel, ah, oh, let me not walk away because the grass is not always green on the other side. But sometimes you might need to walk away for you to be more appreciated. You might need to walk away for you to have a better deal in place. So listen, that's another skill you need to have, ability to walk away. It's a very, very important thing, but people often neglect it. But also as well, I think ability to, uh, apart from walking away, ability to say no. If things are not working for you or you think things are not in your favor, you should be able to say no. Obviously, people don't want to say no because people don't like to hear, people don't like hearing someone say no. People always want things for themselves or want people to meet their demands. But you have to have the ability to say no and the ability to walk away if things are not working for you. Number eight, ability to manage time effectively. Now, time is very, very important. How you choose your time also shows in your productivity, also shows in how you do things. Me, I'm a believer of every single minute that I have or every time that I have, I utilize it in doing things. That could be posting, that could be learning, that could be reading, that could be just doing things, that could be playing football, being active, so many things. A lot of people, I see a lot of people with their time, all they do is do is procrastinate, procrastinate, watching things, not doing things with their time productively. So it's important that you manage your time effectively because once the time is gone, you're never going to get this time back. So it's important. Number eight, number nine, ability to stay positive and optimistic. Now, this is something that is also important as well because a lot of the time as human beings, we tend to focus on the negative aspect of things. Sometimes I do that as well. In fact, I've realized that a lot of the times I do that because a lot of the time I'm very realistic about things and I see on both sides and I think, you know what? But well, sometimes it's important that you have a positive mindset. You stay optimistic. You believe that, okay, you know what? Things are happening in your favor. So in order to do that, things such as meditation is fantastic for you to be able to develop that skill because it calms down your mind. But also as well, things such as affirmations as well. Things that you're constantly putting positive things into your mind I try and do that whenever I'm driving, I put it in my car and I try and repeat those words as well to help me as well with creating that positive mindset and positive environment and that optimistic mindset as well. Number 10, ability to make decisions based on facts, not based on emotions. Now, that's also very important as well because a lot of the time, due to the emotions of things, we tend to get drawn into the emotions. But sometimes you need to sit back, relax and actually look at the facts, look at it and think, okay, What's the best decision for me? What's the best decision for my family? What's the best decision for that situation? And when you sit down and you look at those facts, then you are able to make a better decision as well. So you can't just be making decision based on emotions and based on, oh, yeah, I don't want to hurt the other person or I want it to feel right. No, sometimes you've got to make tough decisions. And I've always said, as a family man or as the head of the family, if you believe you're the head of the family, your decision is not to make people happy. Sometimes your, your aim sometimes is not to make people happy most of the time or some of the times. Your decision, you being the head, you being the leader, is for you to make the best decision that will benefit you, yourself and your family and the people involved as well and around that situation as well. Because if you do that, then that's when you will come to a conclusion in making the best decision. Number 11, the ability to speak in front of large audience. Now, that one is very, very, is a, is a great skill, is a fantastic skill, but also is a difficult skill for some people to do. People, some people think naturally I'm easy, easy for me to do it because naturally I'm a talker, but trust me, even for me, it's very, very difficult to do. Sometimes I still get anxiety, I still panic speaking in front of a large audience, but I think doing things such as these, making videos, I think that will also improve, give me that greater confidence as well, it will give me that greater belief that yes, I can't speak in front of large audiences. I can't speak in front of large people. So I think that's a very, very powerful one. And if you can, and if you can, obviously that's also a great tool because you'll be able to do things such as public speaking. You'll be able to do things such as conferences, which obviously are not easy for people to do. But that ability as well is very, very key. 
And also, as well, I've always said, even though people say I have confidence, I've always said my greatest level of confidence or my greatest testament of confidence will be if I'm able to speak in large, be in large front of people. And for that, then I will come out and say, you know what? Truly, I have confidence. Number 12, ability to keep trying even after failure. Now, that is a skill on its own because one person told me that, which I always remember at the back of my head, talent, the ability to keep going, even though you fail, is a talent on its own. The drive to keep going, even though you fail, is a talent on its own. And I think that's a very, very important skill because a lot of the time you try things, it doesn't work. It's easy to just give up. It's easy to just think, ah, oh, what's the point of doing it? But the fact that you keep going, you keep trying, you keep pushing yourself, you keep developing. And many times I've started these videos, which I've said many times, that I've started, said in these videos that some people have even come out to me and said, ah, oh, what's the point? Your videos are crap. Your videos are not good. Your videos are not getting views. But honestly, it's never stopped me from doing the videos. It even kept me going. It's even kept me going to prove these people right, to, to say, you know what? I know there are people out there that are listening to me, that are watching my videos, that can benefit from my videos. So for that reason, that's even kept me going. And my videos, some of them, sometimes the quality is not the greatest, but I believe in what I'm doing. And I believe that, look, the quality will come. The quality is going to get there. You just keep making the videos, keep going. And for sure, very soon, it's going to take off. Number 13, ability to invest money in myself. <laughs> Oh, that's a fantastic skill as well to have. Whether this is skill, whether this is this, and you can take it as it is. But it's important that you develop money, you invest money in yourself. Sometimes you get carried away in spending money on our family, or on our wives, or husband, or kids, or relationship, or whatever, marriage. And sometimes you forget to spend money on ourselves. It's very important because, especially when you're working hard for your money, it's also very important that you spend money on yourself because it's not easy to get up in the morning to go to work or do night shifts. It's not easy. Trust me, it's not easy. So when you're making this money, definitely invest in yourself. I do that as well by investing myself, getting things such as this mic, uh, developing my YouTube channel, promoting my YouTube channel, um, equipment for it as well. These are part of developments in myself as well. Getting myself in shape as well. These are part of investing my money in myself as well getting my mindset right, therapy, counselling, these are also part of investing in myself because I want to make my mind better. I want to make my physical body better as well because without those things, it will be very, very difficult for me to even make videos, for even me to have the right mindset to make videos as well. Uh, number 14, ability to do things irrespective of situations. That is a very, very fantastic skill to have. And now I'm going to say the reason why. There's a lot of people, when we started, when I started these YouTube videos and making videos, there's a lot of people that say, ah, oh, you need this equipment, you need that equipment, you need this, your videos need to be like this. No, With whatever situation you're in, start it. Once you start it, as time goes on, naturally you want to keep developing yourself, you want to keep growing. So regardless of your situation, regardless of where you are, um, do things, keep doing things. And as you're developing, you might even be surprised that people might even invest in you. Someone might even call you up and say, okay, you know what? Since you can't afford this, I can get this for you. You might even be surprised. So keep doing it. Continue doing it. Forget about the situation you're in. Forget that you don't have the best equipment. Because a lot of, a lot of us can't even afford the best equipment anyway. So whatever equipment you can have, start doing things. Do it. And don't worry about it as well. And keep it going. Keep that energy going. Keep the fire burning. Number, sorry about that. Number 15, ability to self-analyze. Now, it's also very, very important to self-analyze because that's how you look at self-improving yourself, being reflective. Sometimes it's easy to blame other people and say, oh, it's their fault, it's your fault, it's this. And no, sometimes you need to look in within yourself and think, did I make a better decision? Did I do better? Did I do this better? When you look at those things, you self-analyze yourself and that's how you even start improving yourself. That's how you start forgiving yourself and say, you know what, next time I'm going to do this. I also saw a quote, it says, where you are now 
is based on some of the decisions you've made. And I think it's quite important. Some, some things that are, that you are or some things that are happening to you is based on some of the decisions you've made. So what you can do is self-analyze yourself and look at next time and try to make better decisions. And I've also seen something that says, as long as there's hope in life, you still have the opportunity to make better decisions. As long as there's hope in life, you still have the ability to make the wrong right. And I think that's very, very important because look, we are going to make some wrong decisions at times because this is just life. Not every decision you make is going to be the best decision, but you will have opportunities to correct those decisions. And I think it's very, very important to self-analyze yourself. And it's also important as well. You don't just self-analyze yourself just for self-improvement purposes, but also as well, if you're doing a business as well, you might need to self-analyze yourself and thinking, okay, am I treating my workers right? Am I getting this business right? And these allow you to grow, improve, and develop yourself. Number um, 16, always important. Ability to learn how to learn. Oof, never seen that one before. Ability to learn how to learn. I'm not going to say I fully know what this part is, but I think this is more about the uh, how you learn things, how you learn things. So there are different types of ways you learn. And there are different types of way people learn. People learn, some people learn by reading things. Some people learn by watching things. Some people learn by doing things. So it's important that you know how you learn so that you can ascribe that learning to what benefits you more and what is, what is the best way you can get your best outcome as well. Number 17, ability to understand what others feel. Ability to be empathetic. Now it's important that you understand how, how other people think because you allow you to put themselves in your in their shoes. Because obviously, sometimes you might also see things from our own perspective. We might see things from our own selfish interests and selfish ways because as humans, naturally, we're selfish individuals. But it's important that you put yourself in other people's shoes, you see how they think, how they reason, and try to work with how they reason so that you guys can come into a middle ground that is beneficial for everybody, that is amicable for everybody. Um, number 18, ability to remain consistent. Consistency is very key. That's why I said to myself, I'm going to challenge myself to try and make one video a day on CV Talks. I'm going to try. I'm not giving any promises. I'm not saying it's going to be because things happen in life. I have other commitments as well. And well, the good thing I like about the CV Talks is the video doesn't have to be amazing. doesn't have to be fantastic. It's just a way for me to talk and I can do it in my car. I can do it anywhere. And also I'm able to blur out the background as well. So which means it doesn't have to be in a perfect best location. As long as I'm able to talk, I'm able to share my ideas, share my knowledge. That's fantastic. So it's also important for you to be consistent, to, for you to be doing it every day because that's how you develop. That's how you grow. And also it keeps those people watching you something to look forward to because they know You've got videos, ideas that you want to do as well. So consistency is key. Consistency is very important. Number 19, abil ability to master your thoughts. Oof. Your thoughts are very powerful. Your thoughts are very important. So you need to be able to master your thoughts, how you think, how you reason. Also be able to compose your thoughts, especially when you're in the midst of people, where people have different ideas. You might think a certain way, but that doesn't mean that's the only way. Life is about perspective. You listen to others, you shut up, you listen to other people and you also master your thoughts in the sense that whatever you now say is contributing to what the, what is being said at the gathering or what is being said to the other people as well. Number 20, ability to write words to persuade and influence others. That one is very, very important. That one goes back to the negotiation as well because you need to be able to persuade others. Obviously, others might have different views on how you see things or how you or how they see things but you need to be able to influence them influence their mind influence their thinking obviously these days everybody's become an influencer so it's just easier because of the people have celebrity status regarding that one but on a general basis you need to be able to persuade and influence others that will also help you in terms of things such as public speaking as well because then 
you might persuade them in buying things you might persuade them in selling things you might persuade them in a lot of things that will also bring monetary value as well and the last one last but not the least is the ability to ask for help that is very very important you don't have to die in silence you don't have to be mr know-it-all or mrs know-it-all sometimes you put your hands up and say look i need help i need to learn i need to get better i don't know this I don't know is actually a very, very important word as well that people need to add into their vocabulary. If you don't know something, be honest with yourself. Whenever I teach in schools, one thing I always say to the kids is be honest about your learning. There's no point of sitting there in the class, act it like you know, and when I give you work to do, you can't complete it. It's important that you put your hands up, you say, look, miss, sir, or whoever you're with, I don't know this. Can you teach me? Be able to learn, be willing to learn. So be able to put your hands up when i don't know something i'm sure a lot of people even though they don't believe me i always put my hands up and i say i don't know this but people assume naturally because i'm confident or because i feel like i know it or because they assume i know it they believe that oh i'm just talking around but genuinely i don't know and i always tell them i don't know this can you help me can you teach me whatever surrounding you're in you should be able to learn from other people. You should be able to ask for help. You should have a COP, community of practice, that you can learn from other people. They can ask for help. That can help you out. So these are 21 skills that will pay you forever. Trust me, they might seem very basic, but these are things that if you add into your armory, if you add into your armor, trust me, they will make you go far. It's your boy, Mr. CV. That's another video on CV Talks. Have a fantastic day and take care.